everyone and welcome to another Make It Monday. I'm Sarah with Beyond Fabric and since this is airing on Monday Valentine's Day, today we're going to show you how to make this quick and easy heart block, which can be used as a pillow front, bag front, can be put into a quilt, a wall hanging, whatever your heart desires. Now let's get started. So as you can see here, this heart consists of half square triangles and squares. That's it. So we need a total of eight half square triangles, and then we need a total of six squares. Now to do this, um, you can use a variety of fabrics. It could be scrappy. Uh, we want to be a little bit more scrappy, so we're going to have at least four different prints for our half square triangles. If you're making an entire quilt, you can do the magic eight and make eight half square triangles at one time. That way they can just be distributed into different hearts. But since we are doing just five different prints, and one heart, we want to do the four prints as our half square triangles using the traditional method, and then we'll have six squares. So we have cut our squares five by five. So we have six of them here. And then we also have our half square triangles, which consist of two fabrics. We're gonna have our background fabric and then our print, and they need to be cut five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. Let's go ahead and start making these half square triangles. You're gonna take your background fabric and your print, and you're gonna put it right side together. So right sides together. And then you're gonna take your ruler and draw a line diagonally from corner to corner. I'm using the friction heat disappearing pens. Clip those together and put them over to the side. So now we have our half square triangle sandwiches and we are going to stitch on each side of the line a quarter inch. So starting with the first one, I'm lining up the line with my foot here and I'm sewing a quarter inch down and we're going to make a happy chain. your next piece. Now we're going to flip it and stitch down the other side, making a quarter inch stitch line on this side. Once you have them all stitched, we are going to go and cut on that drawn line separating the two. So cut right along that drawn line, separating your two half square triangles. Now we need to go over to the iron and press these to one side. Press each of them open. All 
right, so now that we have all our half square triangles pressed, we need to square these up to five inches. So if you have a ruler with a 45 degree line, we're gonna take that and line it up with our bias line here in the middle. And we need to get it to five inches. So we're gonna trim twice so we have it on there straight. We've got plenty of room here. So we're gonna go ahead and do this side and then we'll flip it and do the other side. Again, we have it on that 45 degree line. And now we have it squared up down here as well for the five inch. Trim. And trim. And now we have a five inch half square triangle. Now square up the rest. Now that we have our half square triangles squared up, we need to put this block together. Traditionally, you would start putting each row together and then connect the rows. So if we had our first row like this, then you would right sides together, stitch, right sides together, stitch, and right sides together and stitch to get the first row done. And then do that with all four rows and then connect the rows. But we wanna make this easy. So we are going to use the Bossel Watercolor Grid Fusible. It's a lightweight fusible. So you see it has this grid on here. Now normally each each where these lines are, that's where you are going to end up sewing. But because we want this to be a dramatic big block, we are going to use four of them. That's why we have five inches. This is a two and a half inch square. We are going to use four to make a five inch. Now, if you wanted to do a lot of little blocks and make this a super scrappy heart, then you could do two and a half inch blocks and then a finished two and a half inch um, half square triangle which would be cut at three and three eighths to make those half square triangles. But again, we are doing the four. So we have our grid and we're gonna place it on the ironing board with the fusible up. Now we are going to put our pieces on the fusible And keeping it lined up with those blue lines. That is our grid to follow. Now go ahead and put your blocks on again. We're keeping it all lined up with this grid. Make sure to watch any strings that get attached. We don't want those ironed in between our layers. So it's starting to take shape because our iron um, ironing surface is only so big. We're going to have to go ahead and press and then move everything down. So once you have everything in place, go ahead and press.
once this is pressed down, we are going to flip it over to the back side, and now we see our lines that are going to be our stitch guide. Now remember, we're using four of them for each one, so we're not going to sew on all of these. So we're going to start in the middle in one direction, fold it over, we're going to crease it right on that line. Then we're going to skip this line and we're going to go to this one. I'm just getting these prepped so we can go over to the machine and sew them all at one time in one direction. Now let's go over to the machine and stitch those down. So we'll be using a quarter inch seam we have it folded over. We're going to start in the middle and again we're going to do one direction first and then do the opposite direction. We have those done, we need to go press them to one side. So we have pressed the seams over to one side and I went ahead and pre-pressed the other stitches that we have to make. So again, we are just doing those ones, basically where the blocks line up. So those have been pre-pressed and now let's go ahead and do our next stitches. Once that's pressed, you can be impressed by all your beautiful matched points. Now let's go ahead and press that over to the other side. So again, we are pressing those over to the opposite side of the way we first pressed. Look how pretty everything is because we used the grid. Now because we used the grid, we were able to do just three rows this way, three lines of stitches, and then three lines this way versus having to do all of these individual stitches and then connecting the rows and hoping you matched everything up. Ta-da! Now, if you are using a lighter weight fabric, you notice that you can still see a little bit of the grid, but you can just peel that off in those areas. and then you don't have to worry about it. And now, see it here, and now you don't see it. We hope you enjoyed making this heart with us today, and we'd love to see what you do with it. So please post a picture. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe so you get notified every time we put another video up. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day.